you a facilitator. Maybe my question is, is, is to say, as a country, we are facing high unemployment of young people, across board, colors and everything. And, and, and also we have the economy that is not growing. Um, the, the pandemic has worsened the situation. And therefore, we are looking forward to anything that can grow the economy and ensure that our young people are employed. Um, uh, if you go to other countries of the world, Dems are busy. You come to South Africa, I was just talking to the DDG that there is a big dam around Beckville with a state-of-the-art uh, bridge, big bridge, but it's dead quiet. And not far away from it, you have hotels, and many people probably that are here have visited those hotels, Drakensberg hotels. They only play golf because the dam that is close by is as quiet as anything without any basic infrastructure to make it work. What do you think we can do as a country? Even if you say, come, let's sit down, tell you DM, I will come. Um, what is, is it that you think we need to do as a country in order to ensure that our DEMs do what other countries, I mean DEMs in other countries are doing so that they actually can contribute in employment, in growing the economy? I'm talking about those DEMs that are as quiet as ever, uh, that I've seen in a number of, of, of areas. That would be my just question from yourself. Thank you. Deputy Minister. To yourself. To your answer, um, SA Sailing is really heavily involved with um, transformation and its education. A lot of, a lot of young kids are, are inherently scared of water um, and it, it takes quite a lot of uh, mentoring to get them over that. Um, I don't know if I'm able to do this uh, director of programs, if I can call up Lundani, I think he's probably the best suited to answer these questions because he is our Councillor on um, Transformation and Development within SA Sailing. So I think it's also, if I can give him the floor for a little bit, and then also, um, just to go back to Anthony's speech earlier, Anthony um, sits on um, on our council as uh, inland and offshore on the safety aspect of things. So I'm going to hand over to Landani. He'll answer a lot of those questions. There's a lot of good things that we are doing. Um, thank you, Deputy Minister. Go for it, Landani. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nadal Nkrum. Deputy Minister, we've met before. You won't remember me, but I remember you. We met in 2018 at Khetse Bande, and there was a program, and Samsa was there. And we went to the dam. And when we went to the dam, the kids were asked to make boats. And they had to go and, I don't know if you remember this event. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, at that event, uh, I remember standing next to uh, Mr. Dumisani Tuli and there were other people. And um, Mr. Tuli was talking to me, we had just met as well. And he said, no, this is great, NSIR was doing a, a demonstration on the water. And he was saying, oh, this is great, that everything that's happening, you look at the stuff that the kids have built. And I said to him when I was standing there, uh, I'm a sailor myself. And I said to him, there's only one thing that's wrong with this picture. The kids are standing around the dam and they're looking at other people on the water. That's what's wrong with it. So even that, had Sivandi had already spoken. I think I'm going to call the elephant in the room for what it is. I, I like to speak honestly. And you'll, you'll, I'll apologize later if I've said the wrong things. But I'll say it now. The big elephant in the room is that black people are drowning. Black people are drowning in water. Black kids are drowning in water. We need to be specific about it. It's black kids that are, down, that are drowning. So which means that it's black youth and black people that not, they don't have inherently a problem with water. They just don't have the exposure. This is the problem. So that's the bad news, that most of our people don't have exposure to water. We see it in Devon, they go to the beach, some of them don't come back. 
We see it in the rivers. They go to the rivers. Some of them don't come back. So we see it everywhere. The good news is white people were not endowed with an extra fin or an extra lung. They are the same as us. So which means the only difference is that they have been exposed to water and they continue to be exposed to water. I work at a yard club in Cape Town, Royal Cape Yard Club. Every, almost every weekend, Wednesday, Thursday, there are families coming with their kids, three years old, five years old. I was here about three weeks ago. I was here with my daughter, who is three. She was on the boat. That's how young they have to start. If we can get these problems off the ground, and they are there. There are some in broken spread, where they are teaching people, disabled people, how to save. There are some in Debian, South Africa, where they are taking kids from Clermont Township and bringing them to the ward. I'm running one at the Royal Cape Yard Club with kids from Kailicha, from Langa, from Philippine, from Mitchell's Plain. They are coming to the ward. You asked about jobs. I'm going to tell you a story. There was a young man who was coming from the University of CPUT. This young man was originally coming from Worcester, from Worcester moved to Philippines, and then he came to the university. I ran a program with CPUT students, and they started with me. They knew nothing about the water. Went to the water, we first taught them how to swim, after swimming, then we took them out to sea. After eight weeks they had finished, he came to me, and he said to me, you know, put in that, I'm doing my third year at school, a sports management science, but I was, you know, interning at a soccer school, but I like the same thing. Can I intern here for my last six month practicals with you? I said, for sure. And he was at the yard club, he was interning. After that, we hired him full time. He was at my administrator as we were running the program. After a year, he came to me and he said, I'm quitting my job. I said, where are you going? He said, I've seen an opportunity here at the Yard Club. There are people with boats here, and they need people to maintain their boats, wash their boats, clean their boats, pay their boats, and do all sorts of regulatory stuff. And he did that. Today, he's running a company with his friend at the Yard Club. He's hiring the same kids that he was studying with on my program. This guy knew zero about what only three years ago. So it's doable. The same is true here. The yard clubs are there. The yard clubs need to be paired up with the communities. And the yard clubs need to facilitate for young black kids to come to the water. As a friend of mine I came with here today, I say to her all the time, What's the reason why kids from Mamelodi Township are not going to the Ripley Dam in Irene in Sicilia? What's the reason why kids from Siu Gang are not coming to the dam? Alex, Soweto, Hardy Beers Poet. There are people in this room, they know me. If Mr. Piso, she knows me. I've been singing this song for a while now. It started when I met you in 2018. And you said the same message you said today. You said, what's happening with the kids and the water and the opportunities? The opportunities are there, David Minister. And they go beyond the shores of South Africa. They go overseas. These qualifications that we get, we can even go and work overseas. When I was out of a job in 2018, my ex-girlfriend, bless her soul, came with a clip a paper clipping and said to me, here's a job in Cape Verde Islands, they're looking for someone. I emailed them, they interviewed me online, I flew, I went to go and work in Cape Verde Islands for two years. I didn't even know where it was, on the map. But I went to work there. And from there I went, so those are the kind of qualifications. We are opening the net, not just the South African one, because water is all over the planet. So if you can do it here, surely you can do it anywhere. 
But we have to start with the grassroots programs. We want it even in schools. We want it in schools, we want it in primary schools. We want our young black kids to go to the water and have a meaningful relationship with it. The lady from Deaf was talking about all these pesticides and all the stuff that's on uh, the, the, the heart of the beast put. What are black kids going to care about what's happening in the water or becoming biologists or, or oceanographers and all of that if they don't have a meaningful relationship with the water first? How are they going to sustain, to be a part of sustainability of the ocean when we talk about sustainability of the ocean, the fishes, the pollution? In, 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 at my club, the white people are always complaining about how dirty the, the water is, the plastics and all of that, and they are coming from the townships and the Cape Flats and all of that. What, why? And I say to myself, why would the people at the Cape Flats be worried about what's going on in the ocean when they have no meaningful relationship whatsoever, besides maybe to wash their clothes in the river? So this is the mind frame that we have to change. Deputy Minister, we have to come together. The plans are there, the yard clubs are there. I can tell you there's work that's being done in the background, lots of it. But we have to come together and do it. And it starts with young black kids going to the water every weekend, going to it, until they form a meaningful relationship with it. Then they're the ones who are going to tell us what they want to do. Whether they want to be fishermen, skippers, scientists, whatever, but they will tell us by interacting with it. That's why I'm here, because I interacted with it. And it opened up a world for me. It's, it's not rocket science. It just has to start with that relationship. Let's build that relationship. We want sailing in schools, in rural schools. We want sailing there. We want it in the township. We want it in Soweto, in Alex. We want those kids there to every weekend wake up, get on a bus, come to the van, come to the heart of the Then let's deal with the issues when they get there. Once people touch them, there's too many black kids here. We'll deal with those issues there. But let's take them there. 